Hi, and welcome to a brief introduction to construction studies um, with Mr. Dooley. What I'm going to do is quickly talk through what to expect of construction studies if you decide to choose it as one of your Leave Insert options. So, Leave Insert Construction is a direct follow-on from Junior Cert Woodwork and actually has strong ties also to Junior Cert Technical Graphics. Um, now, these subjects, Woodwork and Tech Graph, aren't, aren't necessary to study construction studies. However, students who have studied these tend to find it a little bit easier and have an extra advantage because there are some fundamental principles that carry over into construction studies. Construction studies introduces students to the knowledge and skills associated with construction technology and construction materials and practices. This practical subject gives students hands-on experience of working with tools and machinery. Students also undertake theoretical and background work for their final examination, which provides the students with useful skills for working in the sector. So what kind of a student does construction studies suit? It's recommended that a student taking Leaving Certificate Construction Studies has a general interest in buildings and the built environment. Each student should have an aptitude for and an interest in design and practical work. Leaving Cert Construction Studies is similar to Junior Cert Woodwork in the fact that there are two core elements to the syllabus. There's a practical and a theory element. The theory element is actually quite diverse and deals with stuff from built heritage, which are building and construction in the past, up as far as building and construction today and everything that's involved in that process. So everything from selecting an appropriate site, why you might select the site, uh, site investigations, designing a house, submitting planning permission, everything from digging to laying your foundations, uh, the whole exterior structure of a house like walls, roofs, windows, doors, all the internal structures like floors, uh, partition walls, stairs, fireplaces, and all the services like plumbing and drainage and electricity that are all involved in building a house, all of that is learnt about. There are also core principles and aspects learnt about like accessibility, so developing a house for lifetime use. None of us know what's going to happen in the future, so how do we account for those things that may happen? and design a house that could be suitable for all of those. Um, we look at things like sustainability and how the environment in, interacts and impacts on the houses we build. And we look at passive housing, which is the top standard of housing, um, similar to zero energy buildings, um, how we produce those and how we reach that top standard of construction. Some of the practical elements then within the course are our woodcraft skills carry on from junior cert woodwork, which would be furniture and joint making. And then there are other aspects like model making that come into play then when it comes to construction studies. So they could be things like um, designing and making a model of a house yourself or making a model of a pre-existing heritage building or model making such as showing off eaves detail or foundation detail in a, a construction model, a building model that, sh that communicates your learning. So it introduces that practical element to the theory side of learning also. Construction studies then, when it comes to your Leaving Cert, has three assessments. Um, and similar to Junior Cert Woodwork, it starts with a practical coursework. Okay, For the practical coursework, you ask to design and manufacture your own artefact. Okay, That artefact can be a building project where the students make a building detail such as the ones we mentioned, like uh, detail of a roof or foundation that you've learned about, a scale model of a building or a craft piece. Also similar to Junior Short Woodwork, you're asked to design um, a portfolio to complement this. This portfolio details everything that is done throughout your project from the conceptualization and the coming up with an idea of, for your project, right through to all the manufacture. This is how I made my project down as far as the evaluation. If I was to do it again, this is what I would do. This is what I would change. This accounts for 150 marks um, towards your Leaving Cert grade, so 25% of your Leaving Cert grade. The second aspect is a day practical examination. Now, the day practical examination is a four hour practical woodwork exam where the students make a small item out of timber under exam conditions. The exam normally takes place in May. You'll be, students will be given um, a working drawing similar to the one on screen at the moment and told, told that they have four hours to make this piece, given all the pieces and the equipment needed. Uh, this will be done independently without any help from anyone in the environment. This again accounts for 150 marks, so a further 25% of the exam. 
This means that before the final examination in June, students already have 50% of their exam uh, grade completed through their portfolio and their project work and the day practical examination combined. Now the final exam is a three hour written exam that's worth 300 marks. The exam consists of 10 questions out of which five of those questions must be attempted. Okay. One of those five questions is a compulsory question one. So you must do question one and any four other question. Question one is a compulsory drawing question um, of, a building, of a building detail. Okay, so similar to your junior short tech graph. And that's worth the final 300 marks, the final 50% of your grade. So if you decide to study construction, where can you go from there? So studying this subject will be useful for anyone thinking of working or studying in the following areas. Construction uh, projects, architecture, property management and auctioneering, construction management and planning, civil engineering, skilled trades such as plumbing and carpentry, and surveying, but just to name a few. Um, if you want any more information on any of this or any of the courses that can be gotten from construction studies, you can look at the NCCA's curriculum online, which will tell you all about the subject syllabus and some of the subject content. State Examinations Commission site has all the past exam papers and all the past day practical exams. Careers Portal has information about the subject and information about the career choices and courses that can be followed on from the subject. Um, and if you still have any more questions, by all means, feel free to contact any of your woodwork teachers or send me an email at cdooley at portlichcbs.com.